racing to the 2020 Kentucky Derby. This time we go to Gulfstream Park. It is the Spring Championship Summer Edition, and Gulfstream Park has added a three-year-old stakes race called the Unbridled Stakes. Got some interesting contenders in here. I think a few of these horses you could see at Belmont this summer, possibly Saratoga. And for a seven horse field at the end of April, you definitely have to think it's a strong field for Gulfstream Park as a lot of these horses have no other option. So it's a very competitive seven horse field. Let's take a look, starting at the rail, we have Necker Island and Necker Island, he was pretty highly regarded after winning his second lifetime race. Stanley Huff sent him out to a victory. Uh, that was at Churchill Downs after running an even kind of third place in his debut race, but that was to Three Technique. And of course, Three Technique ended up running a couple of other races in the fall at Aqueduct and then ran in a couple of stakes races at Oaklawn Park. Necker Island then beat Silver State in a non-winners of one other than race, then came back and kind of got walloped first start of the year, but that was against Mischievous Alex, and then he lost to him again in the Gotham. Mischievous Alex was going good at that time. His speed figures are competitive. He's got an 89 and an 83, his last two Brisnet speed figures. The par for the race is 93, uh, but three back, he does have a 93 speed rating to close out his two-year-old campaign. It's possible he could be sitting on a lower 90s speed figure for Necker Island. Americanus woke up on the dirt the last time out and picked up a nice victory at 10 to 1. The Son of Warfront out of a mineshaft mare. This one should be able to get the distance. And I like the fact that Silver Ratio and Violent City both highly regarded maiden winners in that last race. Americanus came off the pace. It looks like he may stretch out. And I think they're taking the conservative route with a horse like Americanus. He did win his debut race and uh, then was thrown into the Nashua Stakes off that maiden win. He uh, did pick up a couple of recent workouts, and I think Americanus is definitely live in this spot. Dr. Post is interesting. This horse was favored in his debut race. Greenlight Go picked up the victory at 6-1 to one that day at Belmont, and Dr. Post came back off the layoff, won at 7 furlongs, a 104 Brisnet speed figure. He's probably going to be favored in this spot. He was considering a couple of other uh places to make his next start, but he uh, really ran a corker in his debut for 2020, the Son of Quality Road, St. Elias Stable, Todd Pletcher Trains, and Irad Ortiz. Lots to like if you're considering a horse like Dr. Post. Meanwhile, Relentless Dancer, two big wins last fall, the Louisiana Bread, tried stakes company in his last two, Holy Bull and Tampa Bay Derby. Lost to some good horses there, drops in classes, meeting his uh, own type of horses, and he does got speed. South Bend picked up a stakes win. That was a long time ago, and right now he's sitting on a five-race losing streak. He does take a drop in class. Uh, good distance for him in this spot, but I think I'll kind of take a pass on South Bend in this race as he seems to be going a little bit off form. Now, Soros picked up a big victory. That was at the beginning of the year in the Smooth Air Stakes. Then had a little bit of a layoff, ran evenly in his most recent race, uh, and so we'll be interesting to see what Soros can do in this spot. I think he's still going to have a long fuse there, being by Commissioner out of Eastern Echo, who was a horse who won early in his career and then was injured. So Soros kind of some mixed signals if he's going to be a late developer or early developer. His uh, Brisnet speed figure of 88 in his victory in the smooth air. And rounding out the field is attachment rate for Dale Romans. Hard spun son picked up a victory two races back. And visually that day in the slop, just drew off, really glided over the surface. So I'm not sure if he liked the slop or if he liked the stretch out to a mile. Either way, he came back running third evenly to mischievous Alex in the Gotham. He uh, chased a little bit wide that day and did seem to be closing late and has worked steadily since that race. Who do you like in the... Gulfstream Park race here, leave a comment below uh, the unbridled stakes or leave a comment who do you think of these could be a good horse for the summer at uh, Belmont or Saratoga. Hit subscribe, share this video with all your friends. 2020 Kentucky Derby coming eventually. Right now we've got the unbridled stakes.